but, but maybe. <laughs> uh, I don't have that feeling. So the way we played this season was really, really, really good. Uh, they have another type, of course, we don't have the speed or the pace like Leroy or Rahim had in the past. But we have another quality and help us to have a lot of ball. And and I think since the World, finished the World Cup, the games against uh, Liverpool, Leeds and Everton was magnificent, all three. And today the first half was not good, apart for for my decision to put two players in a, not his position and I say thank you to Joao and Rodri to make the effort to play in the positions but I imagine another type of game and especially if they decide to play with five in the back where sometimes happen could use Joao and Kyle as a, as a fullbacks but I uh, was not good the first half with the sloppy everything was we, at the time we could contact with the wingers or attacking midfielders we didn't create much our pressing was so poor we were not well organized and the second half especially with uh, Manu and especially Rico that this young boy has the ability the quality not just play good to make the mates better so this is so difficult to find that everyone can play better but has the ability to when he came in Rodri play better and Kevin play better and Riyad play better He's a, he has the talent to do this and uh, since we come back he has playing and right now he's fundamental for us. He's a key player for us for the way we are playing right now. Pet, was that an inspired substitution for these? Two players came on, set up the goal, scored the goal. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the last press conference, it was a, a Jack, my friend. Huh? Jamie. Jamie, sorry. Jamie Jackson? Yeah. Jamie Jackson. And he, he said, why I make a substitution 81 minutes against Everton? And I took notes, I thought about him in the halftime, and I changed in the halftime. From the sounds of it, it sounds like your players are going to come through the wall any second with the music and the, the party they're having next door. So you, you're, you're saying that you didn't play so well, but it clearly means a hell of a lot to them to come away from here with yeah. the win tonight. What does it mean to you in, in terms of the title race now that you've kind of you've come through this tonight and got the three points but it could be a week being at 10 points because Arsenal play to win Newcastle of course Newcastle make an incredible effort as well it could lose here now we have five I said to the players we'll not change much still because I think we have 63 left points points to play so it's a lot of points so that's why a lot but it's important I said we have to continue to prove ourselves so, because it's normal being in this position at the four Premier Leagues in five years, you cannot be. We struggle, no, we struggle. We 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 handle in our mindset for everyone that the people believe in November we have already champion, and this is impossible. Arsenal, United, right now the other teams they don't have this pressure, you know, because okay, City is going to win in September, have to win the Premier League. After four Premier Leagues in five years, it's not easy to push them again. The players do there and. And that's why I'm satisfied after what happened in the last years. Still, right now, we are there. We prefer to be closer, but the way Arsenal played so far, they deserve to be there. And I know the challenge that we have. But of course, for us, it was so important, especially for the second half, to be aware that we can do it again and again and again. Even we don't have wingers. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and of course, before Old Trafford and Spurs. Just in the second row, please, guys. Just here. I, uh, are you satisfied with what you've done so far in the season, considering this is definitely the end of the tournament? A lot. And what makes you proud of what you've done? Well, we draw points, except Berem for, like they were much better than us. The rest of the team were good in, in moments we play a, a high level, but the people compare maybe in the past, and we, we, when you compete with the past, you, you are going to lose, because the memories always are nicer than the reality. But but a part of that, still I see the team hungry and, and, and in certain moments play good and it's nice to realize myself when I do some wrong decisions or I approach bad, we can play not good. Unfortunately, the second half, the impact for all four players, even Calvin and the rest, was so important and they changed the game, especially, especially Rico. Finish your section with Tyrone and then we'll bring the FA backdrop in. Hi, 
um, to go back to the substitutions, um, you may have thought within an hour tonight and really after the 8th minute on, on Saturday to the untrained, I didn't probably look like similar games, but to you, what was difference about tonight that needed four subs? That All the managers try to make the subs to improve the team. Sometimes you see the team, you are losing, but you see the team playing good. And, and why it should change when I think I had the feeling they are doing well? Why should do it? And today, for the after 20 minutes, because the game you have to give a little bit time to do it, I realized oh, I don't like what I'm seeing. And why I have to wait? And that moment we spoke with Rodo, with Enzo, and said, okay, you have to move something, you have to change something. Otherwise, it will be more difficult. And everyone saw it. Since the first minute, second half, it was completely different Man City. It was another rhythm, another game, and our recover, everyone in his position. And this dynamic for Rico, tak tak, it move and down, right, left, move it side, inside, help us to everyone have that rhythm. And that's why, that's why it was, yeah, he changed the game. He changed the game for his dynamic for the minute one.